Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. We are eating. I don't know if eating is different for me, but we are eating. And today, I'm at Buka, where they have an amazing buffet. Yes, they have a Sunday buffet because Christmas is coming up. And so, you've got the opportunity to come and taste some of their food. So, let's get into it. Lovers, King K for the King K lovers. This one is Kokonte, also known as Face the Wall, and Omutsuo, which you can have with granite soup. And um, this I know they eat in the um, Volta region. I can't remember the name of it. Agbele. Yes, I think it's Agbele. This one is for my Nigerians. We have pounded yam, and this is uh, Amala. And then you've got Apa Pransa, which is usually a Christmas dish. Some crab stew to go with your wache. Of course, compliments for the wache. I found out this adudu thing is a green sauce, a Nigerian sauce, that they use for um, like tuzafi, but you put it on, I think they put it on the middle of some of their soups. Wache stew looking delicious. Okra stew looking divine. I wish I could eat that today. A gussy. I think I'm gonna try that one out today. I don't know what this is. I, I really don't know what this is guys but a what a bolly some fish small fish with an appella some tilapia you know I love some tilapia come here grilled chicken tatale which is plantain and kelebele and of course we've got of course my foodie friend <laughs> yes we go for the tatale straight away uh-huh He's such a big last menu finder, guys. You've already seen him on YouTube a lot. So there you go. And then the Kelevele. Now, if I'm feeling really foody, you've got my favorite soup, guys. Granite soup. With some good crab in there. We've got some crab. We've got some meat. Oh, divine. And then, of course, can't go wrong with a goat-like soup. Yeah. And then, a lot of people think that in Ghana we don't have dessert. Well, we've got a tiger nut pudding over here. You've got some kube cake, which is coconut cake. That's a coconut cake. And then kata cake. But I really like the ones where the, the nuts are a bit smaller. Now this is a blog something. I've never tasted this before in my life. So maybe I'll taste it today. And typical everywhere you go in Ghana, fruit salad. So yeah, here we go guys. Let's see how it goes. is corona version so it's good safe cleaned and all that stuff for you just not hanging around we're about to dig in look at the plate oh, 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 oh. we are trying something new i've never tasted this before <laughs> look at alex up, is that evil up hot, hot, hot. because my plate is full and they're jealous <laughs> but i don't know i feel like you've gone safe no, this is the first, the first one, but it's not too different from yours. Ah, oh, no, okay. You yeah, I got, I got a little bit of apricotsa. Alex went safe. No, no, no. We're doing the first round is safe, and then the second round is lethal. Okay, guys. Well, I don't want to get up too many times, so we're doing this for the first time. So I'm gonna let you know how it goes. Buka is located in Osu. It is one of the prestige, you would say. I want to say designer, but it's not designer, but it's a really, really good upper class local restaurant if you're looking for local food. So let's pray. 
dear God, thank you for the food that you've given us to eat. Bless the food and bless the hands that made the food. And I pray that I'll be full, nourished, and not sick. In Jesus' name, amen. Okie dokie. So let me start with the... Because to be fair, this is a safe plate. The only thing I haven't really tasted properly is um, the tatale. Um, the apple prensa. My, I only eat my mum's apple prensa, apple prensa. So let's go with that one first. Pepe. Alex forgot to, I'm not a pepper person. Really? If it's too spicy, I'll like it ruins the experience of eating. Ruins what? If it's too spicy, it mm -hmm. ruins the taste and experience. Really you oh! What do you mean, oh? No, <laughs> not off, but no ice. way. <laughs> Guys, that pepper rings that was good. Here, eat some. Eat some. Mmm. I, I wanted to, I think I can want to remind you or tell you what it's made out of. But I can't remember. Alex, come over. Say hi. Hi, hi. 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 Right, so Alex, tell us about what you're doing here today because he, he, he's the plug. He's the one that brought me in. Anyone, anytime it's about food, Drew's going to be involved. And today is the first time in a long time that he's invited me. So, so. Albert, you forgot uh, his drink. Albert, please, can you get me some this Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> so go on. Albert, like that. Um, <laughs> what are you doing here today? I'm here doing a review mm -hmm. of the new buffet, which is 180 cities per head. Good. At Fuka. I'm doing some content for them. And I decided to bring along Miss Drew because, again, she also has good feedback on you know, different <laughs> foods and stuff like that. Trust her opinion. Guys know. See? And it's honest feedback at the end of the day. There so, you go. So, so far. The owner appreciates that. So. Hey, Albert, that was quick. Nice wow. and quick. Fantastic customer like service. Just Thank like that. Thank you very that. much, man. So, good. Cheers, guys. Cheers. We're going to dig in. Okay, firstly, how's that bisa? Because it's different, guys. This it's different, different. And I like it. Smooth. It, thank you. And there's not too much ginger. It's no, ginger no, no, at all. No, it's, it's like it's hardly there, it's there, but it's Thank you. There. I love this one. This one is a good one. Wow. It's a winner. Right, so guys, I digged into the jollof. And you know, I'm not going to lie, if I'm honest with you, I've been tired of eating jollof in Ghana. Everybody is doing jollof. But this jollof is, what's the word? Contagious? Addictive? Because it's good. Mmm. The flavor. Yeah. I would definitely do a takeaway of this. Because this is not your average. It's actually on par with my level of best jollofs in Ghana. Yeah. So yeah. This one is good. Good a lot. Mm. Okay. Now for the tatale. Now tatale is like a plantain pancake, basically. So, smell for the picture. Have a look at my plantain pancake, that's tatale. You know, there's so many ways of eating plantain, guys. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm, with a little bit of ginger. Better than cacro. Yeah. Guys, let's just watch Alex do this thing. Life of a content creator. Like it's refined, but it's still got that taste like you saw when you get from the side of the side of the road. Because <laughs> you know that those are the ultimate ones. Mm -hmm. But it's still, it's still got it. This is matching my, um, you know the total by Hatchel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? This is, this is, this is, this is Ooh, matching. Ooh, okay. Mind them. So guys, you guys know I'm not the only one that talks to you guys whilst looking at the phone and eating. <laughs> Alex does it too. He does it best. Well, you can watch. <laughs> Alright, I mean, right now guys, even though 
played it safe. Everything I played safe with has been very, very, very nice. So we've got the Acheca and Tilapia. Mm. No, it's actually been really good. Now I'm thinking the amount of times I've come to Buka, why have I never ordered these things? You know? But let's get into the one that I'm a little skeptical about, okay? It might be nice, but it might just not be my nice. So let's go to Nigeria, even though we're in Ghana, with our pounded yam and what do you see? Oh, gastrous. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, you know, I don't even know how you guys do. You just dip it in, or I'm just gonna dip it in because I'm not gonna you use my hands. Well, these things. Well, yeah, these things but today, I'm not using my hands just because I don't want to get up and wash them. So I'm gonna cut it and put it in the stew. That's what it's called. And let's let's go. So my, I'm breaking my a pussy and pounded yam through dinner tree. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got the pounded, the agusi, okay, I don't know if I like the pounded though, maybe I'll eat it with banku, but the agusi is tasting like contumbri to me. This is like contemporary stew with just a lot of the gussy. A bit spicy, a lot of oil. I guess that's how you eat it, right? How did the am? And am I supposed to chew it or swallow it the way I'm chewing? I mean, chew. Alex says chew. These times, I can't remember the last time I even saw Alex eat cookie. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat cookie. You see? I remember him telling me. Tell us why you don't eat fufu. No, I thought it's not. I don't know, my dad doesn't eat it. Maybe it's because of that, but I just never. I used to, when I was younger, I used to try it, but I never. Fell in love with it? No. So you're more of a rice rice. Swallow, it's, I, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just. Likes to chew. To chew the meat. <laughs> I don't know, I just, yeah, I never got used to it. It's like my grandma, she doesn't eat food from anybody else that hasn't, she hasn't taught how to make it. Oh. So if she didn't teach you how to make it, she's not going to eat it. Really? And she doesn't eat any food that she, her mum didn't eat. So that's basically what Alex said. His dad didn't eat fufu, so he doesn't really eat fufu like that. It's all right, guys. But Drew is the um, experimenting woman. I'm going to eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, a goosey yam pounded yam. I'm going to go for a second bite. The pounded yam is what is tasting a bit tasteless to me. Maybe I'm not doing it correctly. Tilapia, head or the tail? Middle. Oh. Middle, middle down to the tail. Mm-hmm. You know, the guys give him me the head, yeah. With the teeth in the back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, it's and not the eyes. Fault. The little eyeballs. But it's not his fault because he That's probably thought. thought he was giving him the best version. Because yeah, there are some fine. people the that like love it, the yeah. head. But apparently, if you're going to eat the head of the tilapia, right. your person that has a lot of patience in life. Yeah, because apparently you have to take time. Well, that's and not me. Yeah, clearly, Sorry. <laughs> I'm about the tail, even though you shall always be the head and yeah, not the tail. Head, not the top, but but we're not, we don't have time to eat the eyeballs and the teeth. And apparently, the eyeballs taste like granite. <laughs> Never eaten in my life. This is an apparent guy. What did it taste like? In Japan, it was I just tasted normal. Just... In the comment section, you guys let me know what fish eyeballs taste like to you. Okay? <laughs> So guys, my plate is nearly, nearly finished. I still got this pounded yam. That's the rest of it. I do like the pounded yam. I, I think I like the goosey because it tastes like contumbri. But the pounded yam is an acquired taste, but I think I still like it. But unfortunately, this on itself is a whole meal. And this, of course, is a whole meal. Is 
the issue with buffets because you're not allowed to take it away when you don't finish it. You have to finish everything that you get. And unfortunately, my eyes were a bit bigger than my belly, but I'm still gonna finish it, guys. I'm still gonna finish it. You're getting full already. I'm getting full, but he's don't gone for part two of his tail. <laughs> I will finish it off camera. I don't want them to think I'm a foodie. I'm a, a fatty. There's a difference. The difference between a fatty and a foodie. <laughs> Tilapia is doing is doing wonders to the belly. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Tilapia is insane. Mm -hmm. Succulent, flavorsome. Oh, To be tapping out Sunday I need to go have my Sunday nap after this food but do you know do you know what upsets me the most when it gets to like maybe about two or three hours later when the food is digested I'm gonna be at home thinking oh I could do with that jollof or oh, I could do with that tilapia or oh, oh I wish I finished this and this is you gonna have to tap out and when I come back to Guba next time, Guba, Buka, next time I'm gonna order it. But yeah guys, Oof. your girl is full. Let's go for dessert! She's so full, she's, she's still eating. She makes the bisap with the ginger. You guys know how much ginger is always a hit and miss for me. But let's see how it goes. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. He is. Very nice. Okay, so I got the ginger drink just a little bit. Cold. Ooh. Ooh. Ref ooh. Refreshing, but spicy. Mmm. Oh, I can feel the kick, <sighs> but it's good. Grapes with a seed. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take a bite into this plantain cake. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit full, but I know what's making me full. I overdosed on the Sobolo. Like, I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is my fifth cup. Is that good? Like, like Alex said, if you know what Ribena tastes like, it's like Ribena Sobolo. Oh, and I love it because there's not too much ginger. The ginger is an option to mix it, but that was superb for me. So, plantain cake. It's a bit heavy. I don't know what tribe it's from, you know, but I hope this is like sweet, you know, like mixed with condensed milk or something. Mm. Tastes like plantain cake that my mum used to make, but 
is more of a meal. She would eat it with peanuts. But it's nice. It's all right. Not my favorite right now. But I have hope for this tiger nut pudding. Okay guys, so this is the um, tiger nut pudding. Have it. Oh look, I got your spoon. Alright, let's go. We're both, we're both gonna taste it. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and a quiet taste. If you if you like that, um, you know when you put like ideal milk on bread and stuff like that, you mm. probably like this. Because it's, it's not like rice pudding. I think it should either be, I don't know how they eat, whether it's meant to be warm or whether it's meant to be freezing cold. Yeah. If, I think maybe if it was more cold for me, I would like it, but I think it's meant to be eaten hot. A quiet taste. Very a quiet taste. Before then, it was in the real authentic mama puts the chopper yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. Where you go, you know, they give you a stainless steel spoon and you actually <laughs> bend like this, and, you know. But we wanted to bring fi Nigerian fine dining, and that's how we post that. Okay, no, well, this is good. This is a mixture of Ghanaian Nigerian food. I told you guys I tried agusi for the first time. And, and did you like it? I actually did. Did you try it? A cheke is my favorite. Yeah. A cheke with the tilapia with that the was tilapia. Yeah. succulent. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. succulent. Whoa, I love <laughs> this. <laughs> so, how long has Buka been around for? So, in a few days, we're going to be 18. 18 years in Ghana. Wow. In this very same place. Oh, my goodness. Run by myself oh and gosh. the team. I don't take any of the credit at all. Look at I have that. a wonderful team. They make me cry, they make me smile, but without them, I couldn't come as well. Teamwork makes the dream work. So guys, you should make yourself, find yourself here at Buka. What is one reason as to why everybody must come to Buka this Christmas or this year? Authentic African food. Authentic African And we're doing, you see, there are lots of restaurants, but nobody really does the African thing. Mm. They do Ghanaian. Mm. But we are doing Nigerian, we're doing Ghanaian, we give you a bit of Ivorian, and every week we will vary what we give you. Mm -hmm. So if you, you actually care as a typical Ghanaian, um, Ivorian dish, yeah. but we will do futu, we will do sauce, uh, wow. sauce gren, which is like palm nuts, but it's delicious. And we'll do a bit of cherry jam, so we'll bring in things within the sandwiches. Oh. Dishes from within the sandwich. We'll get to have a taste of real what's happening. The taste of ice. Do you have to get like different chefs or have you just been, been able to travel to all these different countries? So, so I, I think that it's a blessing. I lived, my, my wish or my dream to start this was because I lived in Ivory Coast for okay. three years. Wow. When my kids were very young. And I, that's where you actually get to understand what they were dining our first school African style. Because mm. they have a lot of these, they call them marquees. Okay, yeah. a lot of marquees in Ivory Coast. And it's simple food. It's just a cheque, poulet braisé, poisson braisé, as they call it, grilled fish, grilled, grilled chicken. Okay. And that's basically it. Of course, there's the potato chips and things that go in there. Very simple food. So that's the whole idea, to be able to give people a 
the taste of West Africa. And it starts here. Right the here restaurant. at Buka. A taste. Fine African dining. Absolutely <laughs> divine. You have to hear first, guys. <laughs> But yeah, that was my food review at Buka with the amazing Alex. Make sure you follow it. when you find the Africa, download the app. And when you're in Ghana, make sure you are using their delivery services. Till then, guys, you guys, it's out. I'm going to have a Sunday nap. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye.